A former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll and his wife Misty Knoll sat in the Clark County Courthouse for much of the day. Misty is expected to be arrested on new charges, including theft and tax evasion. But this has been a really unique process. Travis Breeze has been there with them, sitting right outside of the courtrooms. And Travis, something just happened here. What can you tell us? Yeah, Shay, probably about two minutes ago, Misty Knoll walked from the Circuit One uh, Attorney's Conference Room down this hallway to a uh, stairwell we were not allowed to go in. Um, the authorities and the court administrator who've been updating us throughout the day said what was going to happen was as soon as the special judge, Larry Medlock, approved the probable cause affidavit in her case, then they were going to begin her booking process. Uh, so we believe she is now being taken to the Clark County Jail where she may be booked, uh, but we also heard that she might be going to the Scott County Jail uh, to avoid any conflict of interest as they've been trying to uh, distance the Clark County system from this case because Jamie Knoll was so ingrained in the Clark County system for eight years. So uh, we were also told that as soon as Judge Medlock did that, that Misty's probable cause statement was going to be made public uh, and given to us. So we may be able to read that uh, and give you the details on that before five. We'll definitely be able to show you the video uh, of her walking uh, from the attorney's conference room to what we believe is either being transported somewhere or to the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Um, but as we reported yesterday, she was initially charged with 10 felonies, um, five of them tax evasion, five of them theft. Uh, we asked her if she had any comment, uh, her attorney, if they had any comment about how long she knew about uh, her husband's alleged schemes or anything like that, how much she may have benefited. Uh, they did not have any comment. We might have an official court hearing with the new judge as early as tomorrow morning, so we'll have to stay uh, aware of that. But uh, we'll definitely have the video of her walking through those hallways coming up in a little bit. For now, live in Jeffersonville, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side. All right, Travis, thank you so much for the update.